Ladies and gentlemen, here it is, the documents that President Trump promised to release. It isn't all of them, but it's a lot of them. And it's not even midnight yet. So, hey, before the deadline, check it out. The JFK assassination records. This is the update, the data dump from October 26th, 2017. That's today, 2,891 documents, ladies and gentlemen. So instead of me going through each and every one of these documents with you guys spending days and nights on here without sleep, well, I'm just going to give you guys a good starting point. Go to archives.gov slash research slash JFK slash 2017. I'll leave the link in the video description box. Also, check out Virtual Shield. This is a VPN that was designed from the ground up. I use it. They're offering a 20% discount right now with the code Leak Project and 30 days free trial. What do you have to lose? Would you like to keep your data and information private when you surf the web? Check it out, Virtual Shield. I'll leave the link in the video description box. Also, let's scroll down here and just take a look. As you can see, the document date and the release date, well, the release date today, 2017. So how cool is that? Well, I think that's pretty cool. Now, I looked at a few of these things, and I'm going to share one with you right now. Document 23, my favorite number, 23, being a life path number five. Check it out. We just look at it. This right here, you can see to the director. This is in reference to Jack Ruby, Lee Harvey Oswald. <laughs> Following information received March 6th. Instant. Now, this is... Um, about January 10, last Schaefer and wife, Francis, were in Dallas visiting Schaefer's brother, Carl Schaefer. Now, the brother is oil and securities promoter at Dallas. So it just talks about some information in reference to an informant. Now I'm going to scroll out of this. You know what? Why don't we do this? While you're here with me, ladies and gentlemen, let's just click on some of these and see what we get. We'll click on file number 18. Subject, LHO Fabrication, Wilson, Lloyd, John. What do we got here? San Francisco Teletype to Bureau, September 9. Nothing exciting. See, a lot of this stuff is like fluff. So what? Where's the good stuff? That's what we really have to shift through and find out. So I'm saying I could spend hours and we could find... Probably nothing of interest. There's going to have to be somebody out there that can go through every one of these files and break down the codes and the numbers and and the data and then share it. If, if there's somebody that can do that and then send the good stuff back to me, I will present it to you guys here over the next few days, over the next few weeks, however long it takes. Mosquito sucking my blood, man. You ever wonder if like, never mind. Nothing really that interesting there either. Come on, man. Where's the good stuff? Let's scroll down to like some of the f documents towards the end. Let's scroll down to document 420. We just look at it. Document 420. Document 420. Subjects Cuban Embassy in Mexico City. Soviet Embassy in Mexico, Mexico City. Oswald. What do we have here? Well, hmm. Man. Guy's got some small handwriting. And it's cursive. Take me an hour just to read five words. I man, I'm gonna have to get some glasses. Jeez. Come on, man. They're not making this easy for us. Alright, so which one's this one? This is the CIA segregated collection. Unclassified, of course, for your protection. Now, this is from 10-31-69-1-15-70-8-18-French-resistance-movement-Communist-influence-Communist-Party-Organization-The-Headquarters-and-what-does-this-have-to-do-with-JFK-hmm-there-was-one-that-I-found-earlier- Right before I started the show. Let me see if I can find that again. That was kind of interesting. I have to scroll back to the first page here. Where was it? Okay, so if you see here the document type. See that? I'll zoom in a little bit to the document type here. Intelligence investigations.
Some that I saw that had to do with foreign assassinations. All right, I don't know. Let's take a look at this one real quick. Confidential. Report of S.A. John James. Oh, Flaherty. Information contained herein has previously been submitted to Bureau and Dallas. And the informants who were contacted but were unable to furnish any information, whippity do. See what I mean? It's just like so much of this data, how much of it even really matters in today's day? Well, no wonder they'll give you 3,000 files to look at. None of it really says anything. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. This is interesting. Five Koreans. 11 Guana. October 8, 1976. Source advised that an investigating team from Cuba has concluded that the crash was caused by a bomb explosion and that the pilot unsuccessfully attempted to return to Barbados before crashing. Two anti-Castro groups have publicly taken credit for the disaster. And what does this have to do with President Kennedy? <sighs> Ridiculous. All right, let's check this one out. It's about more informants, part of Cuba. All right, guys. Well, gee, that was exciting. I've lost interest already. You probably have, too. If you want to spend the time, go to the website. Do the research yourself. Archives.gov slash research slash JFK slash 2017. At least some of the files are released here. And I'm sure if I had eight hours to go through every single file and share, you know, and research it a little bit more, um, then I could present a, a five-minute excerpt of that eight hours of data. So we'll just make it short to this to the point. There you go. Have an excellent day. Be excellent to each other. Click the link for Virtual Shield. Get a 20% discount and a free trial. Keep your information private. Surf the web. Be the change you want to see.